the Upper West region, but this time with the regional minister, Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali, who's worried about the spread of smuggling of government subsidized fertilizer for planting for food and jobs program to neighboring Burkina Faso. He said, with the closure of the country's borders, coupled with the increased presence of the police and military personnel in the Sisala East and West municipality, he expects the practice to stop. Now, addressing a, a Greek import dealers in the Upper West region, Dr. Bin Sali said he will not hesitate to recommend the revocation of the license of any supplier who is involved in the smuggling. Join us as Upper West Regional Correspondent Rafiq Salam reports. The National Fertilizer Subsidy Program is one of government of Ghana's major agricultural interventions which the Ministry of Food and Agriculture has been spearheading since 2008. However, its implementation is now fraught with challenges. Key among them is the increase in smuggling of the commodity to neighboring countries for sale at higher prices. Last year, for example, several dozens of truckloads of fertilizer bound for farmers in the Upper West region were diverted to some neighboring countries. Minister for Food and Agriculture, Dr. Uso Afriya Koto, was furious and on the verge of crying when he listened to harrowing tales from farmers who do not receive fertilizers to grow their crops. My heart was bleeding yesterday when I heard that farmers in Tumu had to come around Tumu, had to come and spend three nights in front of the office of the ministry just so that they can get a coupon to get in there first time. This is not what I started this whole program with. It's very, very sad. You're all sitting there very quiet. <laughs> I don't see any uh, uh, um, emotions in your faces. For me, I could cry. It however appears that those unscrupulous persons involved in the smuggling are not remorseful of their act and are bent on continuing the illegal trade. These two heavy trucks with registration numbers GB 8461-12 and GB 2409-12 are carrying 2,000 bags of fertilizers. Each bag of fertilizer weighs 50 kilograms, twice more than the kilos required for farmers in the northern belt of the country. Suspicion from the national security then began and the trucks were impounded. Ben Suri is the Apple security liaison officer. Fertilizer that are backed in 50 kilogram bags, that have a weight of 50 kilogram bags, are not intended for the three northern regions because of smuggling. Those that have been certified and I can be used in the region should be not less, not more than 25 kilograms. What we have here, each truck carries 1,000 bags, and each of the bags is 50 kilograms. So they have violated the regulation, and they have found their way in the wrong region. And for that matter, uh, going by the regulations, the stand ceased. Owner of the two truckload of the fertilizer, BB Slow says he's unaware of the 50 kilogram carried by the two trucks. I don't know the goose is 50 kg. Me, I know the guy is supplying me 25 kg. That thing come and reach here, it be 50 kg. That there, I just beg, it will send that thing back to the Nkransam. I float there to them. It load 25 kg to me back. Upper West Region Minister, Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali, who led a team to impound the two vehicles, refused to speak on the issue. He however opened up on the issue during a meeting with chiefs from the lower Adwadisna area. Some unscrupulous persons try to smuggle these fertilizers outside of the country, and that is not good enough. I therefore use this opportunity to call on all of you to be watchmen. Let us watch against these saboteurs of the nation Anyone who is involved in the smuggling of fertilizers outside of this country should be brought to book. Reporting for J News, Rafik Salam. Wa.